Today, two school district representatives for the Board of Equalization joined together in saying that they have found a variety of issues with these assessments. They focused on the fact that 75,000 properties were assessed just below the cutoff where the county would have to actually look at images of them individually, and they touched on how little evidence the county has showed in BOE appeal meetings. So their suggestions were to do one of four things, either roll everything back to the 2018 values except for new construction, or set a cap at 8% increase, then set a cap at a 14.9% increase, or just set a low 6% cap for high poverty areas. The board didn't vote on any of them, saying that they needed more legal opinions before they could move forward. Those bills are erroneous and they're flawed. They're based on values that we think were not based on facts, and they didn't do the work. They simply didn't do the work, and the taxpayer is going to suffer. Be more inclined to take an opinion of our powers from an attorney than yeah, someone who is not licensed as an attorney. The Center School District BOE Rep Stacy Johnson Cosby said that if nothing is done, it's taxpayers who will pay the price and there will be a huge increase in foreclosures in the future. At the Jackson County Courthouse, William Joy, KNBC 9 News.